welcome, 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 welcome. Today, um, we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to kind of be showing you guys what I eat, some types, some foods that I eat. I'll be tapping on them, doing triggers and stuff like that. I'll also show you kind of what's in my fridge a little bit, just the things that I eat. Um, you know, maybe the freezer as well um, for some things that I eat on a daily basis. Um, and again, I, uh, I try to eat pretty healthy. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I eat. I'm gonna be doing some triggers, some hand sounds, some whispering, some soft speaking, whispering and soft speaking. And then of course, I'll be tapping on some things as well. And I'll be moving you guys around, um, picking you up and, and some camera tapping and things like that as well. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is this. Um, which is the probiotics that I take every single morning. I take these probiotics um, just to get some probiotics. <laughs> just to get some probiotics in. So I do that in the morning. <clears throat> also, um, this bread, this is the bread that I do, which is um, Dave's Killer Bread. It's got one gram of added sugar. That's basically the only sugar that I do, added sugar. Um, that I do um, in general. Um, I'll put you back over here real quick. So then we have, um, this is the green tea, matcha green tea. This is the matcha, 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 matcha green tea that I do. I do it in this kettle. I do it in this kettle and then I add, um, oh shit, and then I add this honey. Uh, this is the honey that I buy. I'll put about a spoonful of honey into my green tea and that's really it. That's really all I put in there. Um, that's all I put in my green tea is that. Um, I couldn't find I'm just going to kind of go, let's see I'm going to go if you guys want good as good as you can um, for like tortilla chips, if you were doing like salsa, chips and salsa and things like that put you down here put you down here so I can let you lean against this if that'll hold okay that won't hold we'll put you over here so if you like doing salsa and chips or you just like doing tortilla chips this is a very good brand to use and the reason of that is there are what are the ingredients? The ingredients are right here. There's not many ingredients, which is good, and um, they don't use any bad seed oils. It is avocado oil is what they use in this. So again, it's not. It's still a chip. It's still a tortilla chip. So it's not like it's healthy, healthy for you, but it's way better than any type of other option that you would get um, as far as tortilla chips and things like that. While I have it here, these are the, I eat these pickles. That actually sounds kind of good. These are the pickles that I eat. Um, not, not every day or nothing, but occasionally. I like these pickles. They're not bad. They take a little um, a little bit um, to get used to, but they're good. And then you can tell I eat a lot of quinoa because I have two bags. I actually just went to Costco, and that's why I'm doing this video because I'm actually stocked up on food a little bit. I do this a lot, a lot of quinoa. I'll do quinoa. Uh, let me pick you back up real quick. I do quinoa with a lot of things. I can do it with, you know, meats. Um, I'll do it just as a side. I'll do it also, actually. Let me bring you back over here. I do it with, um, where they at right here? I'll put these black beans. I'll put these black beans. these black beans in with the quinoa well I'll cook the quinoa then I like warm these up separately and then I just mix them together um that's pretty good that's not bad that's not bad um I also do have hemp seeds I have another bag that is open that's why this bag is not open I had to, I had to re up at Costco um what else do we got in here so I got a lot of like sauces 
<laughs> I have a ton of sauces on this shelf right here. Um, this is a really good, this is really good. Um, this isn't my favorite. Um, they didn't have the um, roasted garlic, um, but that's, that's my favorite. This one's okay, but the roasted kettle cooked um, garlic sauce. Um, I think it's just, I can't remember if it's like garlic and herbs. I can't remember, but it's really good. Um, that's probably my favorite uh, pasta sauce at the moment. Um, we got a bag of, shit, a bag of potatoes. Just a bag of random potatoes from Costco. I have, I'm not crazy, so I'll bring you back to the kitchen real quick. So, I wanted to make pizza, but I couldn't find a good, um, a good dough. Um, I don't want to buy frozen pizza or order pizza or whatever, so I have to make my own. I, I used to make my own a lot, but I, I went away with cheese for a couple months. Um, but now I'm doing cheese, like, here and there. So I was like, you know what, I should make some pizza again. Pizza, 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 pizza. And I bought this crust, um, which has no, no added sugar in it, but it does have uh, some bad, it has got vegetable oil, which is absolute shit. Um, and there's a bunch of, you see the ingredient list, that's horrible. Um, but... I couldn't find anything that was, I couldn't find, I couldn't find anything that was better than this, I guess. I don't know. And then usually, usually I buy, I don't know if you can see, uh, where is it at? Right there. I usually buy this Little Italy, um, Little Italy pizza sauce. I couldn't find that. So I had to get this right here which again has no, yeah, no sugar in this, um, no sugar in the dough. So I'm just, you know, again, trying to watch the sugar um, with that. Now, that's not everything that I have in that pantry. I might go back to it, but I wanna show you a couple of things um, that I have in the fridge, okay? Number one, I always have carrots. I always have carrots, I buy a ton of organic carrots and um, I will just open them up, throw them in this Tupperware and be able to just kind of snack on them here and there or bring them, bring them to work, bring them to work. It also helps with anything, anytime, like if I was to eat those tortilla chips and salsa, you know, when you eat like tortilla chips, a lot of, or chips in general, the show gets stuck in the back of your teeth and stuff, eat some carrots, that'll take it right out. <laughs> if you don't want to floss or like brush your teeth right after. Um, Eat some carrots. That'll work, that'll work, that'll work. Also, I eat a ton. I always have, always have celery. Always got celery. Um, that's kind of a staple, like carrots and celery. I love, I love it. 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 Um, I like carrots and celery. Also, that I always have a huge thing of almonds. Um, just almonds. There's nothing in here. There's no added anything. It is just almonds, almonds, almonds. So that is what I have a lot of almonds. So we have that. I got, I got chicken down here, raw chicken. Um, I got, I, I, I'll kind of, this is usually the, the meat that I'll get for like tacos. Um, really just tacos. I don't think I use this for anything else. Um, I think I just use this for tacos. I don't think I use meat for anything else. Red meat. Yeah, just tacos. Um, it doesn't really make a sound, <laughs> but this is the meat that I get. Um, usually I want grass-fed, grass-finished beef. Um, this is just a random little piece of chicken that I made the other day. It's real little. I don't know why I kept it, but I did. I did, I did, I did, I did. This is the butter I get. Grass-fed butter. Product of New Zealand, I didn't know that. Um, I usually get um, Irish butter, same type of butter, but it's usually from Ireland, um, but I didn't get that this time. Guys, this is amazing. Okay, so this is my absolute favorite salsa ever. 
It is my favorite salsa. I freaking love this stuff right here. It is so good. Um, I will basically eat this entire thing in like two sittings. <laughs> just, just being, just being honest. I, I'll eat this whole entire thing in like two ser in two sittings. And this actually says this is fourteen servings. <laughs> so by fourteen you mean two. You mean two. You mean two. You mean two. Um, also, I've I've said this in a lot of videos too. This is my absolute favorite peanut butter, um, organic peanut butter. No, um, there is no added sugar. No, nothing to this. It is just um, dry roasted organic peanuts and sea salt. That is it. Um, you do kind of have to. You do gotta um, mix it. Like when you open it, there'll be like a little oil kind of on the top. You want to mix it really good, and then you want to keep it in the refrigerator as well. Kind of gets a little thick, but peanut butter is pretty thick in general. So it is what it is. Okay. So that is the peanut butter that I use. Oh shit. This is the ketchup that I use. I'm a huge fan of ketchup. Not this ketchup. Um, I was a, I was a huge fan of Heinz ketchup because that shit is amazing, but it's because it's got sugar in it. <laughs> this is not as amazing because there is no sugar in this. Um, I don't know if you can, if it's picking that up. And then I also got this one as well. Same thing. No, no sugar in it and no sugar and no, um, sweeteners. It is, it doesn't taste the best, but it's way, way healthier than, um, than, uh, Heinz ketchup, Heinz ketchup with all the sugar and stuff. Okay. So obviously that is that you have, let me come back. I'll come put you back in here. Also, if you guys like my napkin holder, I love it. I'm going to, I'm going to rest you on the napkin holder. Got some pasta. Pasta, pasta, pasta. Are these elbows? Are these, yeah, they're elbows. elbows, elbows, elbows. I'm going to show you. Turn you like that. I'm going to show you. Another good thing that I get, um, I, I, um, also I was just cleaning, that's why there's a vacuum there. That is a vacuum, I kind of point to it right there, it's a vacuum. Um, these are, well, I'll say the package. I get these in packs of eight. There are eight, eight cans of olives in this. But these are really good olives. Um, I love olives. Lot. I love olives a lot. I will open a can of these, um, dump out the juice, put it in a Tupperware, and I'll take them to work. I'll snack on them around the house, whatever, and um, I'll go through olives pretty quick, to be honest. But I love these. Um, I love these a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I might just take a couple out so we can put them back in the pantry and I can then get rid of this box but I'll keep those there for the time being and then when I'm done with this video I'll do that also I've actually so I bought a little bit of a different collagen um, but also um, what I'm showing you right now um, there's a couple things that like are different I didn't show you the chicken that I buy um, raw chicken and, um, like pre, pre-breaded chicken, but it's raw chicken. Um, very good, very good chicken, um, like for you. I mean, as good as you can get really, but I didn't show you that, but most, or I just show you my salmon. Either. I'll show you my salmon. Um, anyway, this is, um, the collagen that I got. I have another half open collagen in there. That's why this is not open yet. Um, but this has, I think pre and probiotics i think right um this is unflavored um i think it doesn't somewhere. maybe it doesn't what was i oh no it does okay right there um pre and probiotics for total health um so i'm gonna try this one um it, it has no flavor it's unflavored it tastes like nothing you just put it in with water and i usually do this after a workout um because there's protein in this as well i think there's 19 yeah, 19 grams of protein in this. So I'll do that um, with this 
collagen. Um, and we'll be back like that. There is cop sirens outside if you hear that. That's what that is. Um, what else did I want to show you? Oh, my salmon. My salmon here. I'll just bring it in the kitchen. I'll bring it in the kitchen with me. Also, say hi to Art the Clown. <laughs> okay, so this is, I'll show you my fruit smoothies as well. My fruit smoothie packs that I do. Um, I've been trying to cut back on them uh, just because I was doing it a lot. And not that it's bad for you, but I try to just calm down a little bit with it. Um, so this is the salmon that I get. It's raw. It's not cooked. Let me move you a little bit closer to me. This is my flannel behind me. Got a little too warm. Got a little too warm. So this is, um, this is pretty good for you. It's not perfect for you because there is, um olive oil in it, which is trash, um, canola oil, which is trash, so, but beyond that, it's, it's really not bad for you, um, it's a good source of protein, obviously, um, but, yeah, I wish it didn't have those oils in it, but this is really, really good, really, really, really good salmon, and honestly, I think this is, how many are in here, I think there's like six, right, yeah, there's six, and I think it's like 23 or 24 bucks for this box. It seems like a lot, because I'll buy like two um, boxes per time I go to Costco. But really, when you think about it, it's like three or four bucks for a piece of salmon. That's pretty high quality, good salmon. And I, I could just make like peas or green beans with it. It's a pretty cheap dinner. And it's a pretty quality dinner, to be honest. So um, I, I think that's amazing. But yeah, I have like two... I got two boxes in here right now, and then I'll take, I got peas, always have to have peas, one of my favorite vegetables ever, or fruit, right, fruit. Um, I got a bag of frozen avocados, this is, I put this in my smoothie, avocados, um, and then, uh, let's get a, well, let's get this one, so, we'll come back in here real quick. So this is my fruit smoothie packages. So I'll show you the actual individual package and then I'll show you what's actually in it. So it's hard to kind of see. So this is what it looks like. So obviously you can see bananas, strawberries, um, I think there's mango, spinach, kale, blueberries. But I'll show you. So this is what it looks like, um, right here, and there is, I can't read backwards, but yeah, strawberries, blueberries, um, banana, mango, kale, and spinach, um, and then what I do is I add my um, chocolate, like, vegan protein powder to this in the blender, um, and then I also add a couple extra bananas that I freeze. I freeze bananas, keep them in a the bag, and then I have that avocado that I also throw in here as well. And I add a little bit of water to it. It's pretty thick. It's pretty thick. Um, so I eat it with a spoon. It's, it's amazing, guys. I wish you guys could taste it. Also, also to me, it tastes really good because I don't do sugar. So when I have that, it's like that's my treat. So I absolutely love it. The only other thing in here is my is the chicken I get. Um, uncooked, again, it's not the greatest uncooked, breaded, um, chicken, it's not, it's not amazing, like, for you, it's definitely not bad for you, um, there's no hormones or anything like that in it, um, so again, it's, it's not, it's not perfect, um, but it's not bad, actually, um, I just made chicken, so I have it cooling right now on the, um, on the stove and then also what I'll do is I have these this is for after a long run if I'm, if I'm sweating a lot if I lose a lot of if I'm sweating run 10 miles or something losing a lot of um, my electrolytes and things like that so that's what these are little electrolyte packs um, these do have I think 
any of these have stevia in it? Um, where's the, um, did I have, okay, yeah, it says right here with stevia sweetener, so, depending on how you feel with stevia, mm, I don't know, but, regardless, um, this is gonna help you, um, replenish your electrolytes with, you know, magnesium, potassium, sodium, all that stuff. Um, so it's, it's a good thing. It's probably, um, I think personally, it's a better alternative than like drinking Gatorade or any of those just absolute sugar filled, sugar filled, um, things, um, in my opinion, in my opinion, of course. Um, so yeah, there you go. Also, um, I don't know, is my, <laughs> this, is there anything on here? This was my blood work. This is my blood work from my latest uh, doctor's appointment. We have to do this for work. And um, my shit was amazing. <laughs> my blood work was really good. So that's good. And I feel like that's because I eat pretty healthy and I work out and do things like that. This is the blender that I use. Uh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. That's not attached. I thought that was attached. That was about to fall on me. And then, last thing real quick, I'll show you is... I'll show you the protein powder. Again, this is not um, the greatest, probably. Um, it's, it's better than some of the options that are out there. Um, this does have probiotics as well, which kind of leads you to believe, why, why am I taking that probiotic? <laughs> but I don't do this every day, though. I think that's, that's the main thing. Um, but this is what I do. Again, this has no sugar in it, but it does have stevia in it. So, you know, take that, do with that as you will. This has 9 grams of fiber, 21 grams of protein. Um, this is about, I think this is um, like $34, but 24 servings per um, container. So that's really not bad either, man. Again, it seems like a lot. I spent... $443 at Costco. And it seems like a lot, right? But you're getting a lot of stuff. And I bought, like, I think I got two of these. I mean, everything I got, everything you buy at Costco is, like, somewhere between 20 and 40 bucks. So it's going to add up. Um, but again, you have food for a while. It's not like I'm going every couple weeks or whatever. So it seems like a lot, but it really isn't, like, horrible, to be honest. Um, I have a couple other things in here. Nothing crazy. Um, and my other big thing, um, as I was saying before, with just, um, I'm gonna put, I'll put this back as well. My other thing is, is just, if I don't have things in the house that are bad for me, I can't eat nothing bad, right? Um, I'm not one who's gonna go out and order food or, you know, get fast food or do whatever so if I don't if it's not in my house I can't eat it because it's not here so that's the biggest thing for me because it is very easy to be tempted by food you know 90% of the time I could say no nah, I don't want that but that 10% of the time when you're like mm, dude that sounds amazing right now and if you had you know fucking Oreos in there I'd be like mm, ah, I could do it tonight you know but if it's not there you can't do it and I think I've gotten to the point now where I've been off of sugar. I'm not, again, not that I don't ever do sugar, but I've been off of like doing sugar for the most part for so long now that I don't crave it um, at all. And then I think doing the fruit smoothies and things like that um, give me that like little fix of, you know, sugar, um, which is like the stevia, but which again, probably shit for you too, but. Um, so that's kind of like what I do. And um, and yeah, um, when I get off here, I'm gonna get this chicken into some Tupperware, put it in the fridge. That'll be my lunch for tomorrow. Some of that will be my lunch tomorrow. I'm not eating six pieces of chicken for lunch. I'm gonna freeze these bananas. Um, I'll obviously break them up and take them out of the fucking, um, what do you call this? Take them out of, also yeah, dude. I get organic bananas, whatever that means. Um, 
But yeah, I think that's it, guys. Um, I can't really think of anything else. These are just more beans and stuff. Black beans. Again, these have nothing. I don't know if I told you that. These black beans, um, they're, they kind of taste like trash, too. But that's why you put them with, you add them to something. Because eating these by themselves are just, they're very bland. And they have no taste. So, there you go. I showed you the honey already. Um, the noodles. Um, the chips and stuff. I think that's it right now, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed it. <laughs> if you liked it. If you'd like to see me do something um, different, maybe. I don't know. In the future. Let me know. Love you guys. Have a great night.